A lot of times people think of turbulence as the wind hitting the nose. There's many types of turbulence that you can find out uh, when we're flying, but the four main types are clear turbulence, thermal turbulence, mechanical turbulence, and wake turbulence. Turbulence, characterised by bumpy conditions in the air, stems primarily from storms, mountainous terrain and the powerful jet stream. While turbulence itself is a normal phenomenon and can typically be anticipated without causing harm, its invisible counterpart, clear air turbulence, poses a greater challenge for prediction due to its elusive nature. Alarmingly, the frequency of such turbulence incidents is on the rise. A trend experts at Reading University attribute to the escalating impacts of climate change fueled by carbon emissions. What causes turbulence? Here's how Kasser explains it. Turbulence is caused by the relative movement of disturbed air through which an aircraft is flying and responsible for the abrupt sideways and vertical jolts that passengers can experience during flight. Its origin may be thermal or mechanical, and it may occur either within or clear of cloud. Is it safe to fly in turbulence? In terms of their structure, all modern commercial jets are built to cope with forces many times those experienced in flight. However, according to the Swedish turbulence forecasting website Turbly, the feeling experienced by passengers varies from plane to plane and seat to seat. Can turbulence be forecast? Crews plan by studying turbulence and other weather forecasts, which have improved over the years, loading extra fuel when needed and monitoring weather radar during flight. But sometimes violent clear air turbulence leaves crews with little time to react. NASA says it's developing an early warning system that relies on ground-mounted infrasonic microphones to detect clear air turbulence hundreds of miles away. Is climate change causing more turbulence? Recent turbulence reports have sparked this question. The warming of our atmosphere triggers fluctuations in wind speeds, particularly within the jet stream. A narrow corridor of strong winds, situated five to seven miles above the Earth's surface, traversed by aircraft. A University of Reading report last year hinted at a potential link. One of the authors, Professor Paul Williams, mentioned future projections foreseeing a doubling or trebling of severe turbulence due to climate change. However, he emphasised the need for further research. Though fatalities resulting from turbulence are exceedingly rare, adhering to safety protocols such as keeping seatbelts fastened during flights remains essential for all passenger safety and well-being.